Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. So this is another requested video. Okay? In this video, we're going to answer an exercise about circles and other related terms to circles. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so we have here circle A. Okay? Remember, we name a circle using its center. Okay? So, that's why this is circle A. Okay? So, using this figure, we're going to identify and name some terms related to circle A. Okay? Okay. Let's start. Let's begin with radius or radii. Kapag radius lang ang tinatanong sa inyo, you give one example. Pag radii, you give more than one. Can give two or more. Okay? Okay. But what is a radius? Okay? What is a radius of a circle? A radius of a circle is a line segment whose end points are the center of the circle and a point on the circle. Okay? So, let me give you a radius. Dapat daw, ito ay line segment. So, ibig sabihin, it has two end points. Kung saan, yung isang end point ay center. So, mag-start kayo palagi sa center. Okay? So, center, and then you pick one point on the circle. So, for example, A, J. Okay? This is a line segment, and this is a radius. Kasi ang endpoints niya ay from the center, that's the one endpoint, and then the other endpoint lies on the circle. So, let me write. We have one radius here. So, line segment A, J. Right? Okay. Meron pa. Okay? We can also have A, N. That's another radius. Okay? So, let me write. We can have line segment A, N. Okay? There's another one. We can also have line segment A, E. Right? Okay. Line segment A, E. Okay? So, ganun lang kadali. Ganun lang kadali maghanap ng radius ng isang circle. All you have to do is to start with the center and then you connect it to one point on the circle. Alright? Okay, moving on to minor arc or minor arcs. Okay? So, a minor arc is less than a semicircle. Okay? What is a semicircle? Half of a circle. Mas maliit doon ang minor arc. Okay? So, it measures um, between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay? So, how do we name a minor arc? We use two letters. Okay? So, pipili tayo dyan, hahanap tayo dito sa figure na less than 180 degrees. Okay? Let's do it. So, here, let's list down all the minor arcs here diba it's less than 180 degrees the arc lj okay so let us write arc lj do you see other minor arcs yes dapat less than lang ito sa 180 degrees okay let me show you a semicircle ito oh kunyari j e Okay, kalahati ng circle. Okay, dapat mas maliit dyan ang hahanapin ninyo. Oh, do you see it? L, E. Okay, that's a minor arc. It's less than 180 degrees or it's less than a semi-circle. So, we have here arc, L, E. Okay, so, meron pa ba? Yeah, here. You see it? Um, Arc J N. Okay? It's less than a semicircle. 
So, let me write arc JN. Meron pa ba? Here. Arc N E. It's less than a semicircle. It's smaller than a semicircle. Right? So, let us write arc N E. Okay? Actually, meron pa. Okay? This arc. Alright? This is less than um, 180 degrees. Arc L N. So, let me write here. Arc L N. Again, you don't have to list down all these minor arcs. Okay? Kung ang tanong lang naman sa inyo ay isang minor arc lamang. So, pipili lang kayo dyan kung anong gusto nyo. Okay? Same with the radius. Kung isa lang ang hinihingi, isa lang ang ibigay ninyo. Okay? Pero kung hinahanap radii, so you give more than one. Alright? Okay, let's continue. Okay, next is diameter. What is a diameter? A diameter of a circle is a chord. Okay, what do you mean by a chord? A chord is a line segment whose end points lie on the circle. Okay, and the diameter is the longest chord. Okay, it is the longest chord and it is a chord that passes through the center. Okay, so dapat hanap lang kayo ng line segment dito na nagpapas sa center. And I think we only have one here. This one. The line segment, J, E. Ayun o, nagpas siya sa center. At ang end points niya, lie on the circle. Right? So, the diameter here is, um, the line segment, J, E. Okay? Again, this is the same as line segment E, J. Okay? Pwede nyo namang pagpalitin itong dalawang letter na ito. Alright? Okay, let's do more. The fourth one is the major arc or major arcs. Okay? What is a major arc? A major arc is greater than a semicircle. Okay? Which measures between... 180 degrees and 360 degrees. Okay? So, dapat mas mahaba or mas malaki siya sa semi-circle. Let me give you some major arcs. I think here, J, E, N. Do you see it? It's more than a half circle. J, E, N. Oh, by the way, to name a major arc, you use three letters. Okay? Unlike in naming minor arcs, you use two letters only. Okay? So, pag major, three letters. Okay? So, let's name some major arcs. So, our first major arc, um, J, E, N. Right? J, E, N. What else? Is it N L E? Okay, N L E. Okay, it's a major arc. So let me write here: arc N L E. Okay, so madami pa kayong makikita ng major arcs dito. Okay, actually, pwede rin to L E N. You see? Ang laki ng arc na to. Okay? It's obviously more than a semi-circle. L, E, N. Okay? So, let me write. Arc, L, E, N. Okay? Again, same lang to sa arc, N, E, L. Ito, same lang to sa arc, E, L, N. Ito naman, same ito sa arc na N, E, J. Okay? Sige. Tingnan natin kung makakahanap tayo ng limang major arcs. Okay? 
Can you see more? Ah, here. Uh, J, I think J, L, N. See it? J, L, N. It's the same as J, E, N. Okay? Makasing haba lang sila. So, we disregard J, L, N. Okay? Pero pareho lang sila nito. Okay? What else? Okay, here. L, N, J. So, this arc. Ang laki niyan. L, N, J. That's another major arc. L, N, J. Okay? O, hanap pa tayo to make it five. Okay, here. Um, L, N, E. Is it? L, N, E. E. Okay? So, let me write here. Um, arc, L, N, E. Okay? At marami pa kayong arcs na pwedeng makita dito. Okay? But then again, kapag hinahanap lang ay isang arc lang, you give one arc only. One major arc. Okay? Piri lang kayo. So, napakadaming major arcs ang pwede nyong makita dito sa figure. Alright? Okay, let's move on. What about chords? Let's find chords in this figure. What is a chord? A chord is um, a line segment that has its endpoints on the circle. Okay? Hanap lang kayo ng line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. Okay? I can see three chords here. Here. The line segment LE. You see it? Okay, endpoints lie on the circle. Okay, here, the diameter, it's also a chord, right? Okay, because um, its endpoints lie on the circle. Actually, this is the longest chord. Okay, where is the other chord? Here. Okay, yung endpoints lie on the circle. Okay, so we have three chords here. Let me write, okay, the line segment, um, LE, again, this is the same as the line segment EL, okay, what else? Okay, the line segment JE, which is the diameter, okay, and the line segment NE, all right? Okay, so pwede nyo nang i-disregard muna to. Kasi may special name for line segment JE or for the chord JE. That's the diameter. So, pili lang kayo dito sa dalawang ito if you're asked to give or to name a chord. One chord only. Okay? Kasi tingnan nyo tong number 6. You're asked to give two central angles. Okay? So, again, what is a central angle? A central angle of a circle is an angle formed by two radii and its vertex is the center of the circle. Okay? So, yung vertex dapat lang nasa center para masabing central angle yan. So, in the figure, yes, dalawa nga lang ang central angles Na nandito, ito. This angle, do you see it? Ito. This angle, okay? Where's the other central angle? This one. Okay? This angle is also a central angle. Kasi yung vertex, yung intersection ng dalawang radii, ay yung center. So, the two central angles are um, angle J, A, N, and angle N, A, E. Okay? So, nasa gitna ang vertex in naming angles. Alright? Okay. Okay. Next, we have semicircles. Okay, so what is a semicircle? 
A semicircle is an arc which is one half of a circle. Okay? So, um, advisable dito, we use three letters to name a semicircle. Kasi, when we say arc JE, hindi natin alam kung this arc ba or this arc. So, it's nice if we use three letters. Okay? So, for example, if I use um, arc J L E. So, alam agad natin na this is the semicircle here. Where is the other semicircle? Okay? Ito naman. Okay? J N E. Alright? So, that's arc J N E. Okay? Okay. Lastly, we're going to look for two inscribed angles. What is an inscribed angle? An inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex lies on the circle and the sides contain chords of the circle. Let me give you an example. Angle L E J is an inscribed angle. Why? Because the vertex lies on the circle. Ito yung circle. Okay? And then, the two sides, okay, contain chords of the circle. Kasi this is one chord and this is the other chord. Okay? So, this is an inscribed angle. This angle. Okay? So, angle L E J. Okay, again, this is the same as angle J E L. Okay? Okay. Okay, where's the other inscribed angle? Here. J E N. Yeah? This angle. This is another inscribed angle. So let me write angle J E E N. Okay? Or angle N E J. Okay? So that's how you find inscribed angles. Okay? So I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Okay? You may send in your requests in the comment section below. Okay? Please don't forget to like and share this video. And also, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.